All right, welcome back guys. We're Canadian Homesteading and How To Channel. And today is demo day on the old farmhouse renovation. So it's already kind of started. My wife and uh, some of her family members came in here, ripped out the upper and lowers, uh, dishwasher, fridge stove, all the big stuff. And now we're just left with the plaster, electrical. I've already went in the basement and started disconnecting the uh, water and drain lines. I'll show you that in a minute. But for today's uh, goal is just to knock out all this living room and washroom plaster. And I wanna try and get the floors popped up. And I'm trying to salvage these old uh, original pine floors. We're gonna try and use them for an accent wall or something like that. So, so yeah, we'll uh, quit blabbering here and uh, get after it. All right, so down here in the basement, um, you know, every basement, basement's different, obviously. You gotta chase it. We're on a cistern. So water just through um, gravity comes through here to this uh, jet pump. So what I did is I went ahead, I killed the water from the cistern. I also um, shut the pump off so it's not running dry. Um, chased it up, so it comes up, uh, comes through. We've got a bypass here for our filter system, but it comes through a uh, big sediment filter, then through a UV back up. Uh, this uh, T here takes off to the garage or the uh, loft and then this half inch line here or three quarter inch line comes up and it tees off um, both ways. I don't know if you guys can see that. So unfortunately I only bought half inch um, shark bites they're called for basically um, capping off water lines. They're half inch um, so I don't have any shut offs going this way unfortunately which is really silly. So I'm gonna cut it here, cut it here, two shark bites, and I can turn the water on for the loft, and uh, we should be good. Brands make a new metal blade. So I'm gonna try and just carefully cut it right here. If I can't get it, I'll have to disconnect it, float it, and, and cut it nicely. And there's some rust in there, eh, geez. All right, so that gets that side there. All right. Yeah, that looks nice. Now, I'm doing, I'm learning just like everybody on here, unless you're a plumber or something, you're probably making fun of me, but. First time using these little shark bites. So these are the ones with the caps on the end. And it's my understanding we just get it in there and push it on. <laughs> Try that. There we go. That's her. All right, so I don't know if you can see that, but I got my other half inch uh, cold water line capped. So theoretically, when I turn it back on, I can get the loft going again. Water will come up and it should stop here and here. And then uh, the plumbers, when they do the reno, might come in and change this a little bit, but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the water back on. Uh, keep that closed. We'll pressurize it. No leaks. Look at that. Man, those are way too easy. All right, guys. First thing I would do is just shut the power off, remove all the plugs and switches, tape them up, give them three or four licks of tape there, and then you can go ahead and turn the power back on if you need it and um, we're going to start the demo process here. Just remember if you're planning on reusing your drain pipes, be sure to uh, plug them up with some paper towel or something so you don't get debris all inside. Now we are trying to salvage quite a bit of the old, uh, the old wood in the kitchen here, but this trim is just, it's too far gone. Now we aren't actually demoing the living room, we're just working on the kitchen for this uh, project so I went ahead with this vapor barrier and just stapled it to the, the old frame. Now we've been living in this old house for roughly three years and I gotta tell ya, I wish my wife was here to take the first swing of the hammer but it feels good wrecking out this old stuff wow. 
Yeah, we definitely found a bunch of old goodies along the way. This is the original door. Now, I highly recommend you wear a, uh, a proper 3M mask, especially if you're dealing with plaster. It is a nightmare. You know, we got the drywall dust is no good for you either, but plaster really, uh, well, it's concrete, right? You don't want that stuff setting up in your lungs. So yeah, wear a mask, you know, protect yourself. I got kind of lucky here. A lot of that uh, drywall actually was coming off uh, pretty easy. Plaster was another story. Here you can see we actually found a uh, an old window, which they covered up, but they never insulated it, so that probably added to the whole uh, drafty effect there in the kitchen. When I said plaster is like concrete, I wasn't joking. Like, you know, three or four of these shovelfuls of material, and that's pretty much all I could lift into the dump trailer. That stuff's insanely heavy. I was just finding doing small, more frequent batches was easier because, you know, you could really burn yourself out pretty quick. Pretty much the only real break I had is going to the dump. <laughs> uh, I gotta tell you, the high wall dump trailer is key. You get so much material in there. It was awesome. So this is actually a gypsum board nailed to uh, strapping, nailed to plaster and lathe so it's insanely heavy and I was trying to figure out some uh, safe ways of removing it so the square mouth shovel really came in handy just getting it up between the uh, strapping and just wiggling I managed to take some pretty uh, massive pieces down just about smoked the camera with the last bit there a little shady Alright, well thanks for watching guys. This is, uh, like I said, day 1.5. I want to say thanks to everybody who helped uh, the other day removing all the upper and lowers. And yeah, we're going to keep on trucking here. So the next uh, demo day is the first weekend in September, I believe. So it's coming up right away here. We're going to start tackling the washroom and hopefully start popping up these original floorboards, which is going to be really cool. So if you've got an old farmhouse like this, um, definitely consider subscribing. Leave a link in the description as well. I'd like to check out your channel and see kind of what, um, how you guys are tackling these, these big projects like this. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.